Hey guys, so I present to you System Test 2 for devices obviously. I have a Commander 3, my MFA VA3 strobe, my BG12, and obviously my panel. Haven't cleared these three troubles yet, but I've cleared the bell trouble. And so, I'll show you the panel again. I did clean up some of the wiring, made it look look a little less retarded. Still a lot of stuff down the wire. Most of that wire is from when I did the ground on this panel. But I think we should get on with the test. All right. This is on code three chime, high volume. Strobe's on 110 candela, and that one's fixed at 15, I think. Alright. They're not synced at all. And yeah, it's nice and quiet. I just thought I would do on Shine because no one else really does that. And obviously we can uh, activate it from this here. And the beeping there, I just did that for the fun, fun of it, because of all the troubles. And yeah. Now for the next bit, that's all. I'm all done with the fire alarm portion. Next bit is just a few questions for anyone who knows anything about phones. All right. So I have these two phone bells. All right. This is an older Western Electric bell. See the bell, and um, have this ITT double bell thing. Oop, the cover was on backwards. You see? Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I have no focus tonight. Um, just want to know, like, how would I power these? Like voltage-wise, like what the voltage is. AC or DC, and um, how much of it I need. So, voltage and current, that's the word. I got these from my uncle. This one was made in the late 70s, this one was made early 80s, I think. Something like that. Yeah. This one's kind of cool, I like it, how it's just one bell. But this one's also kind of cool because it sounds like a classical phone. Ooh. Yeah. Alright, so that's it for tonight. Jason. Uh,